Okay, here's our driver, here's our main cluster with our driver information display and it has three favorites in it and in this case he's got uh, voltage and uh, fuel economy and then we've got information for the transmission. Okay, and you can escape out of it on this right hand stock here and you get it when you're driving you will have up to eight um, things you can display. There's number eight, there's reset. After that, all these last nine through 16 are strictly for when the truck is sitting still so that the driver is paying attention to going down the road versus what's in the gauge cluster. Uh, these things are only critical for when the vehicle is stopped down to the pre-trip assist. And I hit my enter button over here on the stock and it's got three things that it does in a pre-trip. It's looking at the switch and circuit status, so it's actually testing your switches and circuits to make sure that they're all functioning properly. And there's your reading on them, and in this case we have our light control where we have our fog and driving light on, and we have us on low beam at the time. part of the pre-trip. I'll scroll down, and this is the exterior light inspection. To and do I turn it is on. to go outside and do my walk around the tractor and the and the trailer and check all of my lights make sure that the, the headlights the fog lights driving lights side repeaters rear brake lights turn signals all that is functioning over the entire vehicle without having to have another driver or get in and out multiple times it's all done for you and then once you come back you can hit escape to get back out of it then the third function is the air leakage monitor as one of the tests you have to do is you have to see to make sure there isn't too much air leak within your system on your uh, tractor.